So I was looking for a, a E3D V6 hot end uh, dual mount. So I posted it on the Rep Rep forum, and uh, one of the posters, Doug Al 1957, posted an E3D carrier for i3. He has an i3 Prusa also. So I clicked on that and went over to Thingiverse, and sure enough, there's this device that looks like it'd be kind of close. But I don't see the dual function in it. It sits on the rails itself. But I decided anyway to download the thing and then pull it over into Tinkercad so I can sit there and spin the parts around of the model to see. So I'm presenting this not as a fix, but more like a a way to inspect and analyze designs to see if they best fit. Um, doesn't matter about the quality of the uh, STL G code print at this moment. I'm just looking visually to work on this grid to the specs of this mounting to get two E3D V6s hooked onto my printer. Now, this only shows hookups for one, but what you can do is you can grab these parts, import them, and then start using uh, other items to chop sections out to retrieve just what you want. And as you can see, this um, version here is the, the all, all it does is hold the bolt and hot end. This one here holds the bolt and hot end with a chain drive connection. This has a chain drive connection with a Z axis height sensor placement and this one has the z-axis sensor height placement but without the chain drive holder my parts I need a little tang off of here because my Z switch is high on the frame over here over here so that's where I'm uh, looking next into the design but the idea is is I can grab you know pretty much almost 70 to 85 percent of a design standard and then I can just stick parts on it as I need be and then when I'm done send it off to AutoCAD and let them print it kind of be kind of cool so I still have I like this I like I like all the added features of this to this guy right here in fact what we'll do is we'll we'll color him green see and this is the one I like because it does the chain drive and it does the, the uh, inductive sensor uh, height measurement, I like that, but it doesn't have the switch, which I'll bet you on mine is right even with this guy right here. I just have to put this tang off of this end here to, to do that. That'll be next. So if I do that, and then I get this thing printed, this this piece with this guy in the back, we'll color him too, we'll color him red. I get these two points printed, and I'll be able to then mount my V one of my V6s. And once I do that and I can start printing, then I can come back to this design and add an attachment onto it and then swap the green guy, the green guy out for another guy that has two of these mounts on it. Two of these, one of these, two of these and two of these. And that's the way that'll look. So just, you know, for you new guys coming into this, um, whether you're going to modify your printer or not, it doesn't really matter. The idea is, here's a technique to say, oh, I think I like that thingy thing out there. Let me go download it, import it somewhere. I do Tinkercad because it's just so damn easy and quick. And um, then inspect for, is it going to match my needs? Because this is what 3D CAD is all about. It's not about drawing. It's about fitting your needs first. And I can see that using this technique does, does that immensely. Work. Anyway, that's all.